Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. In our previous video, we extracted a table into this table component. And now in today's video, we'll be storing the categories in our database. So for that, we need to make a create category page. And for that, let us add a button here, which says add new. So we have a button component in the JStream by default. So let us use that. So there is an extra drip. Let us remove this. And let us import the jet component and let us use it over here and let us add it here so as you have said earlier we will be using all the jet stream components in this kebab case and all the components that we make by ourselves in this steadily case so here we'll say add new so if we go here in the button so we have here href property so let us pass a url there let's say categories dot create now let's save it and now we can see here this add new button so let us add this just on top of this card so here now it is uh, directly touching this card so let us give here mt4 so margin top now you can see here it is looking good so now if we click here like this so you can see here we are getting this error that the create method does not exist in the categories controller so let us create that so here let us create a create component Here we will simply return the categories create view. We haven't made this create view yet. So let us create that. So if we go here in the categories index, we have to create it over here because we have said here categories create. So we have to create here. So let us just copy this and let us say here create and let's say here add category also let me just remove this table from here as well as this simple pagination here we'll be adding a form and let me also remove this and let me also remove all the components that we don't need in this page and we also don't want any props over here since you haven't passed it from the controller so let me remove it for now and we don't need this computed property as well So now as you are seeing here, these things are being repeated over here, this py 2 bl mx 7 xl So if you see here, all these things are being repeated over here. So we'll extract this into a separate component in our next episode. So let's continue with this one and also we'll making this into our card. So you can see here, these things are being repeated. So this will be converted into card here we are not adding any add new button over here so we don't need this margin top and let us say form and let's not add this axon over here so here we want two things we want category name and slog now if we go in our setting view so we have their input components here in our update contact data component so we have this so let us add that here and let me format it and we don't want this call spans so let me just remove this and in place of address let us say name and secondly we want slog so let me duplicate this and let me say here slog and in place of name i'll replace it into slog as you can see here, we are seeing here this form object form dot name. Yeah. Uh, so let us define that here in our data property. And it will be inertia form. And we'll have here name and slog. And also we need to import these components, this jet label input and input error. So let me import those as well. And let me use these as well. here 
now let's see that in the browser let me refresh here and when i click on the add new so you can see here we are seeing here this name and this log and this log is just directly attaching it to the name so let me just give it some margin top okay now let us also add the save button over here so let us copy that button from our this same update contact data component so it will look like this and we don't have to change anything over here so everything will remain the same but we have to import this jet action message component so let's say jet action message and let us use it over here as well now if i go here in the browser and it is not loading the page and let us see the error here so it is saying that can't resolve this okay this message there is a typo here hmm so let's fix that so let's say message with double s okay now it has built successfully and if i refresh the page here so you can see here we are getting this name slog and this save button over here and in the next video we will be also making this into this breadcrumb component where we will be adding this all categories and arrow and add category and whenever we click on this categories then it will take us back to the categories listing page now whenever we type something here we want to automatically fill this slog field so for that we need to watch this and update this so now let us go here and let us say here wtcs watch and we'll say here form dot name we'll watch this form dot name and whenever the name changes we need to update the slog so if we will say that this dot form dot slog is equals to let's say str slog and we'll be making this method later so name here now it will automatically convert the name into a slog so we'll be getting whatever we are typing in the name input field here as a name property and we'll pass it in the str slog and it will convert this into a slog so now let us define this str slog and we will define that in a helper file so here inside this js folder let's say helpers.js and here we'll export that function it will get a parameter as a string and now we'll convert that into slog let's say return string i'll copy and paste the logic over here and i'll explain each and every part okay if there are any double ampersand sign then we'll convert it into one and that converted ampersand will convert that into a letter and then any spaces will convert that into the dash and replace all the special characters except the dash into an empty string then if there are multiple dash dash in our string then convert that into one because if there are multiple spaces then it will this above will convert that into multiple dashes and if there are multiple dashes then we are converting that into one dash in the end then we'll convert all the letters into the small letter and then trim the spaces if there are any in the beginning and at the end so after doing this let us import this str slog to our this create component now we will do here import str slog from helpers.js we have imported this and now you can share the name is same so we have used it over here now if i go to the browser and refresh the page now if i type anything over here like this it is converting into the slog now how many space i type there is only one dash so how many dashes i type there is only one dash and if i say ampersand then it will convert it into and if there are multiple ampersands then it will convert it into one ampersand and that one will be converted into the letter the word and and whatever special character we write here so nothing will be converted into this log over here 
everything will be converted into the empty string and nothing will be displayed here. Now whenever we click on the save, we will submit this form. Okay, now if we go here in the form, let's say submit dot prevent save category. And let us define a method called save category over here. And whenever you are working on a project, always follow one pattern. So in my, so I'm always writing the components on the top, then data, and then I'm writing methods, and then I'm writing watcher. And then in the bottom, if there is mounted or created, then I would write those in the bottom. So I will always follow this order. If you follow the same order, then it will be easier for you to know where the method is, where the computer properties are. And if there was a computed property, then I would always write it just below the data. So you can just do as I have done or you can create your own order. So in the save category method, we will say this dot form dot post and we'll say route categories dot store. So all the parameters will be here within the form and we are submitting that in the categories dot store. And this categories dot store will point to the store method in our categories controller. So let us create a store method there. Here we will validate the inputs, store the category and return a redirect response. So let us validate first. Let's say data equals to request validate the string and it must be unique. So illuminate validation rule is imported over here and we'll say here unique category class so the slog will be unique and it will look in this categories table it will automatically find the table from this categories class so after that we'll save the category we'll say category create data so this data property will only contain the keys that are being validated. So here currently name and slog is only being validated. So this data will contain name and slog. And whatever data that is coming from the request will not be included there. We only need name and slog, so it's good. Now let us return a response. With a success message. Now let us go to the browser. Let me refresh the page. First category. Also, let me open the console here. So if there is any error, then we'll see it over here. Now let me click on the save. So you can see here it is successfully saved and we can see the first category over here. And also if I go here in the database and inside the data, so if I refresh here, so you can see here the first category is listed over here. Let us also add another category, second category. And if I click on save, so you can see here the second category is also saved, but we are not seeing that save message. So it took a while for me to figure it out. So why it wasn't showing the success message. So it was because I added here dot instead of comma. So let me add the comma here. And now if I add a new category and let me save it. Now you can see here the category saved successfully message is also over here and the category is also showing here. So we have now successfully added the category in the database. And in the next video, as I have said earlier, we will be converting all these kind of duplicating things into a component such as these kind of things into a container and these things into a card component. So we'll do those things. And after that, we'll be doing the edit part of this category so that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye